Danny, what do you want to talk about? All right. Um, I And we've talked about kind of something similar to this before, uh, but a lot of our life revolves around technology. You keep me round, round, baby. Round, round, round like, like a record, record, baby. Like a record, right? Like a record. Yeah. yeah. Like a record, baby. Round, <laughs> round, round, round. I was about to totally get the lyric. I don't want to... Com- completely wrong. I'm going to fix some facts. Yeah. I'm sorry to do this, but I'll do. I'll go to the facts. I don't, I, can't, I don't know who sings that song. Uh, no Blue idea. Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Blue Monday's the name of the song, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, New Order? New Order. New Order. Yes. Good call. Yeah. Blue Monday... That song fucking rocks. I love Blue Monday, man. That song rocks. I heard that song. Like, this is this is like this is a good 80s song. This sounds like 80s, but it's a good song. It's like boom. <laughs> then you have this oh I just did the whole song for you. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like I am someone's man crush now, Danny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anybody who's a real big fan of New Order? <laughs> or someone who covers New Order on a podcast. Sure. <laughs> this guy. Danny, your topic. I interrupted <laughs> very, very profoundly. I'm having a sure. good time. I haven't had beer in a while. This is great. Yeah, having all the fun, having I'm, all the this laughs. This is my one time a week I can have beer because I'm doing the health and the right. training shit like that. I'm doing all the running and et cetera. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. No, Please it's continue. Fine. Uh, so we have... So much technology at our disposal. We can do so many things with it right now. I pick up those devices and I can have underwear delivered to my doorstep in like an hour. Well, that was weird. After you just said that, my phone just went off. Is underwear at your door right now? Possibly. Um, But obviously, we've also watched a ton of sci-fi movies. And there are so many cool things in sci-fi movies and just movies that take place in the future in general, which in are more often, not, more often than not more often than not sci-fi movies. <laughs> in the year two thousand. <laughs> Thank you, David. Uh, yeah, I got the Conan reference. We're good. Appreciate it. Uh, is there anything out there, Blake, that doesn't exist that you wish did exist? Okay. For the purposes of technology. I have a follow-up question to this. Fire follow away. Up, follow-up question. Does this have to be something that was like proposed in a movie or something? Or can I just no. like make up an invention? Uh, you can make up something totally random. Okay, I got a lot. Of, I got a lot. So I'm Fire not going to So let's talk about the first one. Okay. We live in the city. I don't even drive that much, but when I do, if you live in New York, L.A., Chicago, I don't know about Houston, but it's one of the top four major cities or largest cities in this country. I don't know how parking is in houston but i know the first three parking is a bitch yep what i propose sure is we have a parking app not to pay for parking because the city of or the city the state of illinois and the city of chicago is a corrupt bunch of broke bitches right now so what i'm saying is you get a car app and get all these little sensors all over the city and it could tell you where there's open spots when you're when you're parking so when you're near some open spot whether and it could tell you like categorize it here there are some Paid spots that are open. Here are some sure. free spots that are open, located on this street, and like you just go to the dot. It's like an app. Yeah. I got a lot of app ideas. Apps are hot right now. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of that's, that? I, I think that's brilliant. Yes. Because, because I have talked to several people who do drive, and especially like late at night, if they're going leaving, you know, from a bar or something like that, they're getting off of work. It can be a huge pain in the dick yes. to go back to a neighborhood and have the to, old crotch and not find parking anywhere close to your apartment mm-hmm. and just waste 20 minutes, 30 minutes driving around, Absolutely. circling around looking for spots. So like why waste your time? I mean, I guess I guess there is luck involved that you could be driving around and someone like pulls out right in front of you. Again, that's like that's luck, but I'm right. saying you know, you could take the you could have the decision if there's no spots, I don't have to waste my time around this area or yeah. you, or it's up to you. You could drive around and wait till a spot and get lucky. Sure. Adding to that, adding to that. Now, this is getting really sci-fi now Okay. with cars. One of the biggest things I hate, and it's a lot of times it's not people's fault. It's just how the order of parking goes sometimes, is when you see a car, and then you see another car, and there's a spot there that's just a foot too small for you. Right. And, and there's, the car, there's space on the other side of the cars. I just wish yeah. we had a device or just something go boop, and the cars go, and that space opens up yeah. for you. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be great. Like, um, maybe I don't know. I, I can't. You, I can think of a lot of crazy ass shit how to sure. separate these cars more. 
but I'm just saying something, magic button, a magic pipe, the road moves. The force. I, the force. Um, the force works for the city of Chicago, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Very probably, true. Probably gets minimum wage pieces, low ass piece of shit. Chicago can't even pay the force full, full time salary. <laughs> Who doesn't pay the force? Come on. Really? Come on. Um, so those are my two things with parking. I got a lot more, but those are my ideas. So finding a spot. And then when you, if you have a small spot, extending that, if it's possible, you don't not like fuck other cars up, but just, you know, just shift it. Yeah. I absolutely dig that. Um, and I also was already thinking of ways that that would be potential. But the unfortunate thing is like things that I was thinking of where like if you had like racks that cars would pull into up against the side of the street that could move them automatically. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That racks. would just be feeding more into Chicago construction. Yeah. Well, we don't have to talk about Chicago. Maybe we go to a rich city. Sure. What's a rich city? I think St. Louis is a nice. I mean, it, St. Louis is kind of like I heard St. Louis is the best place to live uh, for the value of what you like. What you like. For example, like. If I move to San Francisco, my cost of living has got to go up 300% Yikes. because a lot of cost of living is that bad in San Francisco. But if I go to St. Louis, like my salary now is worth like 20, 000, 20, 20 grand more than what I'm making in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. The cost of living is more in St. Louis. That's what I heard. Sure. I, you can fix the facts on that, but that's too hard. Just, 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 just Good don't, for you. Fi- don't fix the facts on that. Just, Good just for you, deal St. Louis. That. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it doesn't have to be Chicago, but I mean, just saying for heavy parking areas. Yeah, racks. I was thinking about that too. It's like you have the rack. And then you can stack up, rack cars stack up the racks. Oh yeah, you know, stack them up. Yeah, you, of course you won't be able to see the shops or the the, but the, the city. It's, but well, it's like the car dealerships in Chicago that build up. Yeah, and have those like crazy no dig up stupid <laughs> dig dig up stupid have those crazy <laughs> cranes that are just lifting cars and moving them around. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. What do you got? I, I, I like that one. I like that one quite a bit. Excellent. I'm um, so happy. I am bringing knowledge <laughs> to the world. Man crush status still validated <laughs> for the new order that you will be bringing in. Uh, all right, so uh, okay, we'll 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 hit back and forth here because yours was uh, something that you wish you had just straight up from out of your mind. Mine has been portrayed on television Ooh. and in movies. And Star it's Trek Phaser. It's. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but we have guns. It's, <laughs> and quite uh, frankly, unfortunately, yeah, we, have, we have too many guns, apparently. Yeah, yeah, uh, we do, apparently. But a lot I, of guns. I would like to live in a world where teleportation was possible. Okay, see, I didn't know. I, this was one of mine as well, but I was, I was going to see this one till later. I was going to like build some heightening up to this one. Um, because that's like, we're talking, well, no, because we have the, like the fly the fly was science. I'm thinking teleportation yeah. more. It's like a mutant power, magic, or something like sure. that. Sure, but sci- that we have seen teleportation in science. Yeah, Star Trek, the- transporting. Oh, sure. The f- yeah, the- yeah. What do they? They just call. It- what do they call it? the transporter? Transporter. That's all yeah. it is. I think I'm just. I overthink yeah. it. Um, you think of Jason Statham movies. <laughs> <laughs> He's also George, a martial George, artist. That was one of uh, Futurama. Why does everyone think that I'm Asian? That I know karate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, love you, George K. You're so funny. Um, he is the man. Yeah, he's so funny. Um, but it's teleportation. That's the Simpsons episode too. Would, they make fun right. of the fly on that. No, um, I mean, but the ramifications about that. Obviously, there are things that could go horribly wrong with that technology. Molecules, people. You're right. Molecules are everything. Willy but Wonka. Remember, he got the kid got small. Do you, do you think that if they had a safe way to do it that they would just eliminate airports or would you go to an airport to get teleported? God, somewhere? I hope so. No, God, I hope so. We have teleportation in our fucking, like, you know how we have a bathroom? We have a teleportation room. It's just like that. And, uh, we get rid of airports altogether. We just get rid of them. Yes. I know jobs, 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 but then we got to create more engineering jobs. We'll create more sure. and, and think of, yes, we're going to be losing a lot of jobs because we're getting rid of airports. Well, how about this? Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have many teleportations, like our cars that can get us from like two, one to two place. You know, like sure. I can go to your place, teleport, boom. But then if we want to go to like New Zealand, which I don't want to spend a 24-hour flight on, we have the big teleporters, which will be like the airports. Well, right, that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, would you just end up basically with an airport hub that was nothing but like teleportation docks where you'd still have to buy tickets and they'd be like, it's going to, sorry, sir, it's going to be $68 to teleport your bag to UK. Uh, my bag ended up in Switzerland. What the f? I hate when flight attendants talk like that. Yeah. 
<laughs> that, I, that bag is too large to carry onto the transporter bay with you. Oh. What? It fits in the box. It's over 50 pounds, sir. <laughs> sir, sir, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to either, you know, you're going to have to check your bag in the bag teleportation device. <laughs> You ha- you 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 you're allowed one carry on for teleportation, Danny. I'm gonna plug this in a little bit more on spot. Sure. There yep. you go. Sorry, but you were coming in fine the okay. whole time, so you're good. We just ruined my improv bit. Damn it! We're gonna play some improv right there. We don't get to improvise enough on this show. Um, that's a good one. That's really out there, though. It it is. It it's is completely out there. But that was that was kind of the fun of this topic. Sure. Right. That's it's what, just, no, we're having fun. Yeah. It's just let's we're let's fun. get out sure. there slash hopefully not. Give some coder the best idea that you or I have ever <laughs> well, had. Dude, time out. <laughs> to tell you the truth, this is why I love Star Trek more than Star Wars. Because Star Trek actually, because it was about exploration, it was about intelligence, it was about science, it was about NASA, it was about space, exploration, dude, they have discovery. Science, they have science officers. Yes, yeah. exactly. And the big, it was really cool is that um, Star Trek actually inspired the cell phone. Uh, I'm not joking about this. Yeah. I'm not joking this. Communicator. Yes, exactly. Phone. Because think about it. You have all these inventors, scientists, engineers who are super left brain trying to figure everything out. And then we just have this right brain show just flicking phone. And then all these engineers, scientists, uh, 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 programmers are just like, how does that work? How could we make we it could work? We could do that. We should do that. We could definitely do that. I swear to God, like I've there's I've read articles on this that like Star Trek has inspired so much of our current with the, technology. With these smart watches now, can you can you officially do the Dick Tracy thing? Can you could I like call you through my through my wristwatch? You know what? I don't. I I cannot justify an Apple Watch. I just can't because I think the, I, I I mean I don't I don't have one or you know I know Caleb I think has a Droid watch. But I know people who I, I know people who got it and they they returned it because it was just pointless. I. I that's the big thing is to make the watch <laughs> worse is you have to have your phone on you. Right. So that's like, well, what it's, the fuck's it's the point? Be, it's got to be in the vicinity. But yeah, uh, I mean, like I just, if I could, if I could do like a one touch communication, which is funny because we already had the next tell. Dick Tracy phones. didn't have a cell phone in his jacket. He just had a, he had a communicator watch. Yes. He didn't have yeah. in his yellow trench coat. He didn't have a big old cell phone. I don't know what time period that was. It was a long time ago, but he didn't have one of those 1950s? brick phones. Uh, Earlier. God, we have a lot of facts to figure. I'm going to help you up on this one. Yeah. I'm going to help you on this one. Um, when did the, Dick, com, when, when did, when did the Dick Tracy serial start coming out? I don't know. Serial? The, the comic strip, you mean? Yeah. That was the first one. Yeah, it's, it, I have no idea. I know it's been around forever, though. Yeah. Remember uh, Flathead? There's Flathead. Oh, yeah. Itchy. Flat Top. Flat Top, yeah. yeah. And uh, Itchy. Uh, little Face. That's little actually face. one of the cooler things that has appeared outside of the public library in downtown Naperville is the Dick Tracy. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I have, I, I to tell you the truth. I don't know why that movie got mixed reviews. I fucking love Dick Tracy. Yeah, that movie, is, that movie, that, that is an, there is so much acting talent in that movie. Tons. It's, it's booming. Yeah. You know, Al Pacino was, now I know this is real, so you don't have to fucking fix the fact on this. Al Pacino was nominated for Academy Award for um, big boy. Yeah, the Big Boy was his name in the movie, the, the main antagonist. That's a movie that I also have not seen in a really long oh, time. Oh, yeah. We should have a Dick Tracy. That, that would, would be a great that. one to bust out, yeah. And that was the first time I thought Madonna was hot. She looked really good in that movie. She did, but I think as a kid, I think there was some probably other music video that I was like, oh my God, what's going I on? I want more. <laughs> um, you see her boobies in that movie? Um, not really, because it's a see-through shirt, but you can see them anyway. It was awesome when you were eight. Yep. Um, this is for you. This okay. invention is for you. Okay. The rock clock already came out. Shit. <laughs> Chris Pratt clock. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. I actually did spend a summer waking up to the soundtrack of Guardians of the Galaxy as well. It's a good soundtrack. That's a great I'm really soundtrack. Ser- I'm really curious what they're going to do with the second movie with the yeah. same soundtrack. If they're going to just do the same formula, like just have this epic... Soundtrack from the seventies. Well, or technically, what? he he did get Awesome Mix Volume Two at the end of the last movie. That's no, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah. like, is it going to be the same formula though of just putting like a bunch of seventies and eighties songs on there again? I don't know. I, I mean, it would it would kind of make sense. Yeah, for the storyline, I guess it'd be weird if I he came like in with a bunch be, of like classic expe- hip hop. It kind of be like expected. That's the only thing, you know. I don't know, but if the songs are good, it doesn't matter. My invention is for you, Danny. Bring it on. My invention is for you. I want, I know uh, a couple app programmers and they're trying sure. to crack this golden code right now of trying to figure out what's the best way to do this. You know, we have Chase QuickPay. 
and we have like someone could just send money. Yeah. It's a little bit of work though. You know, you go through the app, have to pick who it is, how much, find it, approve right. it, and send. I recently just had a struggle with PayPal where I just I couldn't get PayPal to work for me. Yeah. It was infuriating. Absolutely. Yeah. It's 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 a little bit uh, arduous because of all this. So my invention again is kind of an app again. So I see this could happen. Um, and I don't care if someone takes this idea and does it, just do it because I want it. Right. Um, it's one purpose of it is like you have a group of five at a table in a restaurant and all of you want to split the bill and you just, just tap your at, it's all split just like that. It's just, it's just, I'm not, I know I, I'm just, you're, I know you're trying to think of how would that work no. and communicate. I'm, I understand <laughs> there's a lot of complications to that, but I'm saying here comes the bill. We'll split it five ways. Push a button. It's done. You're done. Okay. So the interesting thing about that. Uh-oh. It exists. Uh, but it in the was... Year 2000. <laughs> in the year 2000. In the year uh, 2000. It was... Or at least in, in, in restaurant ventures that I've been in, incredibly poorly received. Like the general public okay. would not use it. So I'm asking for a better one so yeah exactly there's nothing wrong with reinventing the wheel but we gave it a shot i've given i've given it a shot at restaurants that i've that i've worked in uh and the reason that people shy away from it is because they get a qr code that they're supposed to scan okay and that allows them access to the bill and they can do whatever they want with the bill from there they can add stuff onto it and when the server would go to the point of sale it would give them an alert and say table 30 once uh, just added a Miller light to the tab. And that would be like, okay, I got to ring that in. And that's not exactly what I'm saying though. But for purposes of bill pay, yeah, you could, you could do that. And you could say, uh, add in your payment information and say, I want to pay 50 of this. Somebody could. Yeah. And that's exactly what I'm talking about is cut out all that bullshit information. Yeah. And I understand how can you do it without typing in information? But that's the fucking problem what I'm trying to solve here. It's like instead of going through an app and clicking this, all you do, it's like you have a dial. Let's just picture a fucking phone or app. Sure. You have a dial and say, how would you like to pay this? Full, turn it, two, three, you know what I mean? And then just do it that way. You know what I'm trying to say? Yes. Just something like that. I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking outside the box here. So it's just fast ways to pay or like, I don't know. Each of you have a buzzer, <laughs> and you know right, what I'm saying. Okay, no, no, I, I absolutely do. And and to to be honest with you, you know how like all credit cards are moving towards this chip thing. Yeah, that's yeah. Pretty that's, yeah. pretty soon, and we, I I know this for fact. A lot of the bars chips and restaurants, a lot of the bars and restaurants are going to carry chip scanners, which are going to be very annoying for a, probably a lot of service staff to have to deal with because they're going to have to plug in the card, they're going to have to wait. And they get an authorization. They're going to have to pull it out as opposed to just giving it a quick swipe like they would normally do. But if they had something like that scanner that was on the tables where people could just plug in, key in an amount real fast and pull it out after their card yeah. gets accepted yeah, yeah, and yeah. the payment gets done that way, mm. that would be amazing. Interesting. Yeah. Inventors, you need to listen to a brew with you because everyone should sit down, have a beer, Shoot the shit. Crap, dude. Before we really take off, I'm going to probably try and uh, figure out the logistics of what I just said. Because that's actually... Think about that. If you just had something on the table that you could just plug a credit card into and, and pay however you want. Touch screen? Yeah. Or if somebody wanted to pay cash, well, do you got a debit card on you? That would be the only X factor. You just slip it through the table. There's like a little slip for it. It's like a vending machine, but the table. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can deposit cash into ATMs. Now. Or teleport the money when we're living in the perfect world. Then you can walk right outside to your perfectly parked car. <gasps> you have one more invention for us? Um, or just teleportation? No, no, no. Because no. I brought two. No, I brought three. Technically two and a half. Two and a half I brought. Yeah, because that other one was... That other one that was actually, up your alley. That, that was that was actually a That's why phenomenal a phenomenal idea. Thank I'm, you. I'm loving it. Thank you. Um, da, 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 da. I think the only other thing that I would really like to see come to fruition again, uh, been depicted in movies, and you know what? To be honest, with VR and things like that, it's getting we cooler and cooler. Are, we <laughs> are VR. Uh, that's Martial arts. <laughs> Okay, I'm, putting, I'm putting fucking VR troopers up on this qualifies. bitch. Qualifies. Qualifies. Um, That's awesome. But I would really love to be able to do the holograph conferencing. 
Oh hells yeah! Because it all right. Like we have face, we have video chat. We have video chat. We have FaceTime Hangouts, already. Hangouts. Skype. Sure, Skype. But being able to do a holograph video conference, I think, would be the funniest. Do you thing know what would be the number ever. one thing that everyone do is they put a damn cloak over their other head and be like, "Yes, Lord Brahms." <laughs> I yeah. see that you've arrived at the Chinese restaurant 20 I, minutes late. I see that Chicago is paying you minimum wage. <laughs> I see that you are still struggling to find parking. <laughs> Execute order 312. <laughs> Goose Island 312. Yes. <laughs> Every, that'd be the, the order 312. And everyone's like, right. just have a beer. That's yeah, what I mean. Just, just chill. Just, everybody have a beer. Just, just park your car in the middle of the street. Let's have a beer. Let's talk about this. I could see so much porn happening with that <laughs> holy shit it would, that's, take, it would you know, take dick pics to a whole new level and that's the biggest thing right now as soon as vr was announced and you know vr already came out for the oculus the big one though is sony sony's rocking fucking video game worlds right now um the e3 just ended last weekend and sony's rocking they it. released a lot of cool stuff oh, there. E- no this is a good e3 this is a very good e3 um we should talk about the e3 for a top maybe i'll switch my topic to e3 i don't know We'll figure it out. I um, spent I spent like half a day watching footage and release uh, trailers from E3. Yeah, I watched uh, I watched the Connie Funny um, breakdown of it. And, you know, Connie Funny is my boys. Oh I, yeah, I love those guys. Definitely. So, um, I uh, shit. What was I talking about? We're talking about VR. Oh yeah, VR. and when VR was announced, with Sony VR came out. You know, the first thing is like, can you just look, look, everyone, porn everywhere, <laughs> and they already like have an article right now how the porn industry is finding it so difficult to do porn in vr right now because of the cameras and it's very uncomfortable for the women and they're not liking it and it's just it's not comfortable really for anyone right now so right. it's in an, um i don't know all right so i know where this conversation is going right you're saying that i gotta i gotta reinvent the porn business in vr I is got, that the next invention that's, that's my calling is that the yeah, we invent the <laughs> porn industry if we ever get it to um, episode sixty nine of Brew with You, that's all that we're talking. About. We're talking. We're talking about porn. That's all we're gonna. Now our topic for an hour is porn. No, we're gonna talk about all the good stuff. We're gonna talk about when we lost our virginity. We're gonna talk about our first uh, our first porno. We're gonna talk our favorite porn stars. It's gonna be an hour of fucking porn. Yep. Get ready for it. That's yeah. That's <laughs> it, no. That's that, that, no, no. gonna be a game changer. Assuming then when we're doing this. I, First off, I ain't stopping anytime soon. But I'm saying when we get up to 69. I'm not quitting. Okay. 69, that is happening. The we, porn episode. We need to get some special guest stars for that. Oh, yeah. hells yeah. Oh, we should really look into that. Like, like that's a, Well, we're at 39, so we only have 30 more episodes to go. Oh, only 30. 30 uh, more. NBD. That's plenty of time to get um, make some new, calls. 30 is the new 15? How, how does that work? 40 is, if 40 is the new 20, does that mean it, you cut it in half? Isn't that a Jennifer Gardner movie? I don't know. So would 50 be the new 25? Is that what I'm going to say when I'm 50? I think that was a Brad Pitt movie. <laughs> Or was that, um, what's his face? Gerard Butler. Maybe it was Gerard Butler. Sure. The yeah. sequel to the Jennifer Garden movie. <laughs> right, yeah. Was, he, right. was he also a bodyguard in that one? We yeah. have good inventions. If you're an inventor or if you're an app builder, fucking do it. Uh, this one spurned some great inventions. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm dead serious. That was great. It was a good episode. It was yeah. great. It was great. And that episode's not over. It's even better because we got Ooh. another topic left. My topic. So, yes. Shall we continue? Let us continue. What? Star Trek warping into the next topic. We're t- mm. teleporting into the next topic. Even <laughs> though we're both doing the Wayne's World dream thing. <laughs> <laughs>